Hey guys, my name is Tiffany and welcome to episode 65 of Flea Market Video Game Hunting. So this is two days of flea market game hunting in one episode. Wednesday was a little dry because it was set to rain. After like two or three hours that I finished that flea market, it started raining pretty bad. And it even started hailing that same day. So I just want to show you guys this guy. He was pretty much my competition that day at the flea market. So when I went back to that booth, I tried to look for the games that he was looking at. But I'm not sure if he picked them all up or what because I didn't see a single video game at that booth and there was a bunch and looked like he was picking through them. So maybe he bought them all. I don't really know what the situation was there. I know there was a lady that said, oh, is there any Mario games in there? And this guy was like, well, if there is, I'm going to end up taking them, you know, like jokingly. But yeah, I don't it sounded a little rude to me. But anyways, I only found minifigures and a mechanical keyboard so these minifigures i ended up picking up five or three minecraft minifigures and two mario figures so all of this ended up being two dollars the guy was yelling out a dollar for everything in the boxes like each item was a dollar but he ended up giving me this for two dollars i pretty much know the guy because you guys know i go every wednesday almost every wednesday but yeah so i found this mechanical keyboard and the box said he wanted five dollars for the keyboards in the box but i asked him if he knew if it worked and he knew if it had all of the little caps on the keyboard because I know that's a problem with keyboards. People just take the caps off and sometimes they return them. But I said that and he said, okay, I'm just going to give it to you for four because I don't know. I haven't tested it. I just got the box. So he ended up giving it to me for four and I thought that was just a great deal. And you guys are probably asking yourselves, why are you getting another keyboard? Didn't you get one last year? Well, yeah, but this is a mechanical keyboard and it has way more lights like uh, more I don't know if you could see the lights but my current one is only has blue green and red I think I'll show you in the recap portion but yeah mechanical is also better so four dollars for that that was amazing obviously my keyboard of choice would be to find a razor keyboard in the future at the flea market but this is Sunday and I picked up those Toy Story figures those were a dollar a piece and this booth I didn't really pick up anything Thing, but I just wanted to show you guys so there was video games but there was also not a lot of people on Sunday as well I don't really know why if the weekend was I think on Saturday it did rain this weekend but Sunday was pretty nice so still there wasn't a lot of vendors uh you know it's been pretty you know here and there at Sunday and on Wednesday but I'm hoping that it'll get better so let me know if you would have picked up anything that you guys see at this booth I just wanted to show you you guys the Sega Saturn games were tempting but I know you guys saw the video that I made last time saying that there's a lady here and next to the lady there's her son that has a booth that has just pretty much video games so he takes the good stuff or so I think it's good stuff. I don't know if the Sega Saturn sports games are good or not, but you tell me what you would have picked up from that. I was just looking through them, but I, nothing really caught my eye. And I knew it was the guy, so I didn't really want to ask on the prices. So this was with the lady that gives me good deals. She wanted a dollar for the little Space Invaders thing. The batteries were rusted or corroded inside. I still need to get a screwdriver and a flathead for my backpack, so I didn't have one at the time to check it. But when I got home, I found out that the batteries were corroded inside, so it doesn't work I might have to clean the contacts for the batteries a little more so it will work and when I was pressing the start button it didn't really function well but when I took the batteries out I don't know what happened there but it it works fine now but it just doesn't turn on yet so I picked up the controller the afterglow controller she wanted 15 and I know that's a little pricey but I did end up picking it up the last afterglow controller that I bought was five my brother ended up taking that because he goes through batteries like I think three times a week he has to be changing the batteries so I just gave him that one since he said oh can I have it so this one will be for if that one breaks on him or for you know when I need a extra controller I also did pick up that little Game Boy Advance game also she wanted a dollar for that so I picked up the PSP game sorry I'm going pretty fast but that was a dollar it didn't have a case it had a couple scratches but I still decided to pick it up and this I was going to pick up I was so happy to find this but the reason why it was still at the flea market because I did go a little late I went like around 10 to 10 30 which I go around 9 to 9 30 sometimes I get there at 10 but anyways this was still here because the lady wanted 
$45. I know, wah, wah, wah. $45 for this PSP. It didn't turn on. It didn't have any juice. I was so excited because I had my rechargeable battery. I was ready to test it. And if it worked and if she was going to give me a good price, I would have took that. But she wanted $45. So anyways, guys, without further ado, let's get into the pickups. Hey guys, hope you're all having a great day. So I want to start off with the little figures that I picked up in the beginning that you guys saw. So I picked up one, two, three, four, and I picked up five figures for exactly two dollars. So in my head when he gave me the price, I was like, dang, I should have picked up more figures. So let's just start off with the regular Nintendo figures, which don't have a box. So I got the Goomba because I don't have him yet. So I decided why not pick him up. And I picked up the Chain Chump. I think that's what he's called. Reason for return. That piece was ripped off actually. So I don't exactly know why he was returned. I don't know what excuse you would make up to return this. I guess not what you wanted or something like that. So anyways, let me just open this real quick. I'm going to need my handy dandy cutter to open this because it has so much tape. So I'll be right back and I'll show you the chain chump. All right, guys. So here is the chain chump. I'm not sure if this goes to anything at all. Maybe that's why they returned it. But here he is. And I didn't clean him. I probably should have opened him up. So, you know, when I showed you guys, you'd be nice and clean. But yeah, I'll have to clean this because he's still a little sticky from the tape that they put on. But yeah, the chain chump. Here it is. Hopefully it's in focus. So the Chain Chump and the Goomba. That is pretty cool. Tell me which one you would prefer. Would you prefer to get the Goomba or would you prefer to get the Chain Chump? So I'm going to show you guys next. So I have two of this series and one of this series. So I'm going to open the one from this one series, which is series 10, the Wood series. So I picked the ones that I pretty much don't have figures for like I have I think the first beginning figure and I'm just gonna let you guys peek in there you guys guess what that is so yeah oh sweet that is cool the zombie pigman chicken jockey so that is cool absolutely love the chicken uh, and this this he looks kind of weird so it's a pigman and then he's wearing like a little mask of some sort. So there he is. That's much better. I need to put the figures right in front of my face so the camera can focus. But yeah, that is awesome. So this is cool. Nice. I picked a good one there. I didn't have that. And that is awesome. I know some of you guys... I'm just going to throw the trash on the floor. I know some of you guys say that you like when I pick up figures. Because some of you like Minecraft. Or some of you guys pick up minifigures as well. If you don't pick up Minecraft minifigures, tell me what other figures you pick up besides Minecraft minifigures. Oh, this is one of those build ones. So, I got another spider, as you guys saw. So, this is a Redstone series, series 11. And, yes, I have two spiders so far. One spider is actually right there next to my Xbox One, if you guys can see it. And another spider I put up there right here, where Mr. Meeseeks is. He, they... Spider should be up there, so I don't know if I should build the spider because I already have a bunch. But let's just go for the last one. Hopefully it's a good one. Hopefully it's one that I don't have. So yeah, let me know besides minifigures, what else do you guys like collecting? Or what other minifigures do you like collecting? I know a lot of you guys don't like the Minecraft ones, but there's a lot of mystery minifigures out there. Ooh, so I got another, what do you call it? This is the, it doesn't show it on this box. This is the Snowman Golem. So I got another Snowman Golem. I would have really wanted the Build a Creeper or the Build a Zombie. Because those two look pretty cool. Even though I already have the Zombie. But I don't have it in Build It form. So I would have liked that. Or the Iron Golem looks pretty cool from what you guys can see back here. So yeah, these are the choices that I could get. Let me just put it in front of my face so we can focus. So these are the choices that I could get. I would have liked the dog too. I think he's the dog. No, it's actually the wolf. 
So I don't actually know if I should build these since I already have them. But I do have some that are already built. So let me go get those real quick because I don't want to really waste time having this recording and me building them. So let me show you the finished product on these. All right, guys. So let me first off show you the spider. This is the spider once you have built it in everything. And let me show you like I did build this. I'm not joking with you. Like the pieces come off exactly like that. So that's his booty part of the spider so this is the building part and this is when you're finished with it so this is what the spider would look like after you're done building it and the snow golem or the snowman golem what what, what is he called he's called the snow golem okay so i did call him right so this is the finished product and this is what he looks like when you take him out of the bag i thought the bags were a little big but i forgot that this is the build a series so yeah this is the finished product and this is what he looks like when you take him out of the bag so yeah I, i'll build those later on but i didn't want to waste time building them right now i know it's a bit dusty as well but i want to move on to the keyboard which was four dollars guys so right now i'm using my brother's keyboard because i wanted to show you both keyboards the one i was using and the one i'm going to use now so the old keyboard that I gave to my brother, that one was $10. The last keyboard that I picked up last year was $5, which is this one right here. I put it on a table. So this is pretty heavy, actually. This is what the keyboard looks like. And don't mind this. Uh, I do put on cream on my hands, so that's why it looks like that. So this is the keyboard, if I can get it in the frame this is the keyboard right here so it pretty much just changes colors i don't even know what button it is so i think it's no that's oh yeah it is this one so it's green it's blue it's red and green again wait red green blue three colors pretty basic three colors and it has a high medium and low intensity so for the lights as well so these lights actually turn off after a certain amount of time and that's kind of bad in the night when you can't really see so before i had any of these keyboards like the last one i picked up for ten dollars that is the same but that is pretty much just blue i would show you but it's right here and i don't really want to press any buttons because i don't want to mess up the recording but that one's just pretty much blue but once you go led i feel like you don't go back so this one turns off after a while like i told you guys and it's pretty big and bulky like i don't need this side of the keyboard i know this is for when you play on pc games and stuff but i don't really do that so i'm gonna show you the keyboard that i recently just picked up Ugh, this thing is so heavy guys so let me show you guys the box first this is the box and this one actually came with the instruction booklet so you can choose between i don't know if you guys can see that but it says breathing mode it says other kinds of modes that it has if you guys have this keyboard you probably know what it does already so the keyboard has a lot more colors and let me just show you i'm going to put the box on top of that keyboard and show you guys the other keyboard so this is the other keyboard right now it's going through like a demo mode or i think when you connect it that's this is what it does but this is way more prettier and you guys can see the lights on the bottom here as well so this one has like a slimmer kind of fit to it this is gonna look a lot better in the future i want to get a led headset stand and a led mouse pad as well so i would my dream keyboard would have to be the razor chroma keyboard but like i did see one of those with the lady that gives me good deals but i think she wanted 45 or 50 at the end of it all and even with all these three keyboards combined i mean 10 for the first one five for the last one and four for this one it still wouldn't be as much but hopefully you know in the future i can find one for 20 or 15 bucks you know a razor keyboard but for now this is pretty cool so let me go through the modes i have to press f n i n s so fn is right here sorry for not knowing which buttons are which guys but this is breathing mode and yeah let me just show you guys look listen how this one sounds
yeah i absolutely love the sound that it makes and let me show you what the other one sounds like because i did not let you guys hear the sound so this is kind of like keyboard asmr for those of you who've never watched an asmr video this is your first time here we go So not as satisfying as the other one. The other one kind of reminds me of a typewriter. I don't know if it reminds you guys of a typewriter, but this is super cool. And I don't really use my computer much, pretty much just edit, uh, make the thumbnails, and that's pretty much all I do. And sometimes I log on to Twitch to download some uh, streams that I have saved on there. So this is... It just sounds so nice. So let me change it to the modes that it has. I have to read the instructions because I'm not very familiar. So, so there's this one and then there's this one, which this is pretty much just goes up and then it goes back down, I think. Or it just says, so, it stays solid. I'm sorry. It's just, I'm in awe of this keyboard. Absolutely love it. I don't really like this, the white part of it, because you guys can see through that. And the other one is more like the lights are hidden below. And you guys can see this part. But, you know, it's just a little pet peeve of mine that I have. But absolutely love the way that this keyboard sounds. And, yeah, for $4, guys, $4. So I was a little hesitant to get it in the beginning. Uh, there was a guy, I don't know if you guys saw him on the camera, he was looking at me, I think he had like a black sweater or leather jacket or something, so this was the last one that there was in there, I kind of had it, I was looking at it, and I was trying to see if I could see in the box and see if it had all the caps and everything on it, I know on the box it says it has like some replacement caps but it didn't come with that but it did come with the instruction booklet which i was happy with that so anyways while i'm talking let me just uh change so it also has this mode which is okay i i feel like the led lights aren't as bright so f n p u which is right here and that is what it does as you guys can see and FN delete now. So there is that. It just goes in and out. So this way, that way, or that way, this way. And FN end. So they're all the, all the buttons are pretty much right here. So that's the pretty good thing about it. So this is off. This is on. So every time you press a button, it would light up there. So that is pretty cool. And FN and PD is the last one that we have here. And I guess these are the buttons that you would use if you were to game on PC. W, A, S, D, and up, down, left, right, and the escape button, which is over here. So that is pretty cool. Honestly, I like the breathe one or the, is it this one? I think it's this one. No, actually, this one solid stays there pretty cool so let me know what your favorite pattern is absolutely love this keyboard and just the the sound is so satisfying it's so satisfying let me know which keyboard do you like better so i got that one for the old one for five dollars and now that i looked at it on ebay it's like about 20 to 25 dollars for shipping this one on ebay it's about 39.99 on walmart which this i believe this is a walmart brand black web is what it's called it is 49.99 so i just thought this was a great deal like i said i'm not a gamer but i just i leds i love leds i love anything that lights up hence the little tetris lights and the little uh, logos back there i love anything that lights up i have leds behind my desk i never really turn them on but i do have them so this is pretty cool and i could also change my mouse which i'll show you that if you guys haven't seen it 
So it's a Razor Mouse, which I actually traded for, so that was pretty cool. The only thing that I don't like about this keyboard is that the wire is not as long as the one on the old keyboard, but I don't really think that'll be such a big deal because the brain for the, the computer is right here, so it's not that far, even if I open it. And I thought this one was way better because when you open it, you don't have... Uh, this one actually came with this which this is in the box as you guys can see there it came with like a little rest pad but it's pretty much just plastic and i don't really like it so i took it off and what was wrong with that i think that's why they returned it is that there there's some clips down here that the metals of the wrist or yeah the wrist pad stick onto one of them was hanging off and I pretty much think that's why they returned it because they couldn't put it back. But I didn't want that either way. I don't know if I showed you a comparison of the keyboards. This is like super heavy. Every time you carry this, it is a struggle. So this is way less heavy. This is the new keyboard and this is the old keyboard as you guys can see. I don't know if I could put it like matchy matchy so you guys can see sorry it's hard to hold these keyboards together but yeah that is it i mean just the fact that the or the yeah my old keyboard can't fit into frame is kind of like an idea of how big it is so let me know which keyboard you like better. I was actually going to leave the old keyboard plugged in, but I thought you guys might want to see what it looked like. So just three colors on this one, and you can change the lights, but this one has a lot more lights. I'm not sure if you can change the colors or if it's just solid like that, but I'm going to have to read the manual. Of course, you got to read the manual for that. You can do shortcuts for when you play games. All right, so that was everything that I picked up that Wednesday at the flea market. I'll show you guys what I picked up on Sunday. Let me just clear my desk a little bit and make some room. All right, guys, so I want to show you guys the figures that I picked up on Sunday. And these are the figures. They were a dollar a piece. So I think that his name is Pork Chop. Honestly, my favorite Disney Pixar movie is Monsters, Inc. I would like figures of Sully, Mike Wazowski, and Boo, but I went with picking these up because, honestly, I don't even think they make Monsters, Inc. figures, but anyways... So Loxo, you guys know I have a little plushie of him already. He smells like cherry or blueberry. Honestly, I don't remember. I don't go around smelling him. But yeah, I just love this little guy. He's so cute. I mean, you can't you can't say that he's not cute. And in the movie, he looks just so cute. So yeah, I picked up this little guy and I picked up this little guy. So I went with the lady that gives me good deals. And I picked this up for a dollar, which it doesn't work because the batteries were rusted inside from back here and I didn't know that when I looked at it so I think if I clean that a little more it, it will end up working and I did pick this up the wire was not included but let me just plug this into my notebook right here that I have on the side which I use to test the keyboards as well so this is the controller it's blue. You know how I said I wanted the other controller because my thumbstick was a little messed up? Well, honestly, I like wireless so much that I don't really want to use this until my controller thumbstick actually breaks fully. So I'll just, you know, leave this back here. So I paid 15 for this. I thought it was a little pricey. At first she said 20 and I was like, no, thank you. And then she said, okay, 15 then. And I thought for 15, I might as well just take it because honestly, it's always good to have extra controllers, you know, so I got this for 15, may have been a little pricey, the priciest thing that I picked up in this whole episode, but honestly, I don't regret it and I think it's just so pretty. I think Afterglow is such a good brand because if you guys remember Mad Cats, I don't even know if they still exist making controllers or accessories, but this is a pretty good brand the one that i gave to my brother he plays a lot more video games than i do because he has a lot more time than i do but yeah he, the controller still works fine i haven't heard him complain about it or anything honestly the wireless one that he had he would go through batteries like two times a week sometimes even three times a week he would go through double a batteries so i'm pretty sure he likes the wired ones better honestly i'm more wireless 
because I don't play as much, so I don't burn through as much batteries. But let me know what you prefer better. Do you prefer wireless or do you prefer wired? I know wired is a lot cheaper than wireless. Yeah. So let me know which one you like better. So the last thing that I picked up with the lady that gives me good deals was honestly this game, which I have picked up before in the past. I'm not, I think I paid $3 for it, but with the lady that gives me good deals, she ended up giving it to me for $1. This is pretty much all she had. And I wonder if this is from the same lot that she had the other Game Boy Advance games from. But uh, yeah, a dollar for this. Somebody told me this game was out of print. And I didn't know what this was when I picked it up the first time. But when somebody told me the name of it and that it was a TV show that got canceled, I looked it up and I was like, oh yeah, that TV show. That I never watched that TV show, but I have seen pictures of it. So yeah. But Ugly Martians, I picked that up for a dollar. That was a great deal. The last thing that I picked up at the flea market was this game, this PSP game, which has no case. It's just the disc itself. And that is Virtua Tennis for the PSP. So there you guys go. I have to cover my face is what I learned from this camera. So yeah, $1. It does have a couple scratches as you guys can see there, but it wasn't too bad. So I decided to pick it up. And when she told me a dollar, I was like, yeah, okay, I'll pick it up for a dollar. So that was everything that I picked up on Wednesday and Sunday. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I know it wasn't a lot. The best thing, I think, was the keyboard. I'm going to have so much fun with that, with the lights and everything. I just love it. Let me know what your favorite thing was from this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for taking the time out of your day to watch my videos. If you want to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, or Twitch, the links will be down below in the description. Happy hunting. Until next time, guys, I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.